The alliance between humans and felines is perhaps the most unlikely on Earth. Proud and self-reliant, cats come and go on their terms. They flourish as scavengers in big cities and gypsies in rural outposts. Over 600 million claim residence in households across six continents. And now they may have dethroned the dog as the most popular pet on Earth. So where did it come from? In Portugal, a team of graduate students from the University of Porto may be witnessing in real time how the cat became domesticated. They track the wild cat. It may appear to be a common house cat, but this wild cat is its own species, Felis sylvestris. This is the species from which domesticated cats descended thousands of years ago. Normal wild cats are solitary animals. They are territorial and very hostile to other wild cats that come into their territories. And generally, they keep away from humans. But sometimes, the elusive felines are spotted surprisingly close to local villages. The team searches the country, seeking clues to help them understand the cat's changing range. They deploy traps in order to capture and radio collar their quarry. If we find a wild cat here, we'll just put a collar with a, a transmitter and just follow him for one year or so and try to determine its home range, resting sites, Habitat selection. One of the team's wildcats returns enlightening data. A male wildcat, an adult, after leaving its rest site, he came very close to a farm. So he approached the house and stayed there for over two hours. Bold behavior by a notoriously shy creature. Why did this wildcat's four square mile range include a human dwelling? One theory, the feline is being drawn in by an overabundance of vermin in villages. It would be risky for the wildcat to leave familiar woods and venture close to people. But for easy pickings, it may be worth it. Or could it be that man is encroaching onto the cat's habitat, causing it to change its feeding behavior? This may be what happened thousands of years ago as humankind began to settle into farming communities. What is certain is that there was a co-evolution where these small wild felids, a certain group of them, became more and more attached to people to get near the rodents. Wildcats helped to keep food stores rodent-free, and humans rewarded them with sustenance and shelter. These cats became habituated and eventually evolved into a new species, what we now know today to be Felis catus, the domesticated cat. It's one of the only animals to domesticate itself. It chose man, and to this day, the cat remains only partially tame.